Hello fellow stargazers, we are here with the medium bundle. So this is sort of a, like a medium sized build. It's much more of a horizontal build, right? Where we're trying to build a couple of different rooms. And in fact, this is mainly a, a ship design, right? This would obviously be the sort of basic interior that you would see everywhere. And then conceptually, you'd have something covering it, right? Like this would be a bunch of hole or, or armor plating on top of everything else. So this build is three feet by a foot and a half. So again, horizontal building is what we're trying to do here. We've done our best to try to use every piece in the bundle, but there are obviously a couple of pieces that we left to the side. We'll indicate them here. We're going to go ahead and start in the back here, what we would call kind of maybe like the loading dock or, or slightly more like the engine bay kind of thing. And right here off the top of the bat, we've got our catwalks actually positioned in a way where it looks like the hangar bay door or something like that. And as such, we would then kind of just lower it down, right, giving it a nice, clean look to it. As well as if you were to raise this up by a little bit, you could even have this at an angle. You could have it look more like a ramp if you really wanted it to. Our catwalks in good use here, right? We got a catwalk mega within this bundle. So what we really wanted to try to do here is, is help evoke how coolant systems or heating or, or piping and cabling, all these things would work through your ship, right? You want everything to kind of exhaust through the engines or whatever. And that's kind of what we've got with our staircase, right? We've, we've taken a regular staircase, put it on its side, and now it's got this additional sculpting on the bottom to kind of give the, the, the motif of an engine in that kind of way. These are the two by two floors upside down, helping you get outside. And what we have with our catwalks as well is once they separate from pipes, now we have like an elevated part of the build. Um, now this can kind of just be uh, an additional level to your loading bay or however you want to look at it. Uh, but it also just gives you a nice extra place to put amenities or even if you were having a fight over here, it kind of gives a nice uh, multi-level action. Additionally, we've got our articulating arm sticking out of the biscuit peg right here because it's a pole accessory fitting into a pole accessory holder. So that can end up going anywhere where you would see those holes. In fact, all these end caps are just little biscuit fillers. Right over here, we've got our multi-module in the corner, looking like maybe like a tool shed or something. But we've also got this catwalk on its face, looking like an exposed pipeline feeding directly into it. Now, it could look like a little charging port or something like that, but even if you then decide to flip it all the way around and use the back side of the multi-module, it can look like that even further. Another thing that can be really fun to play around with, especially with engaging your players, is these cable trapdoor inserts, right? If they're exposed, uh, that can really lead a really cool way to like, oh, we've got to go engage with the engines, or we've got to go fix this pipe, or we've got to go, uh, oh, the steam's escaping and it blew off the top of the panel or whatever. So now the wires are exposed, you got to watch out. So that's kind of the other nature of a lot of these pieces in this build is trying to figure out ways to kind of like engage the player with points of interest, even more than just the sculpts being interesting themselves. And then over here in the center, obviously we've got three of our multi-modules just stacked on top of each other. They really do help double as containers whenever you actually absolutely need them to. Okay, so as we move forward into middle section of our ship, right, we're getting into a couple more rooms. So you can kind of see we maybe have some barracks or like an extra computer console room. Maybe this is a little med bay or, or a little bar scenario. Maybe it's at the kitchen. So yeah, even in this room, right, we've got these two barracks, but you can even split it up into just one by just taking this bed and double stacking it right on top of each other. And they click together, so it makes it so when you actually put it in this room, it looks like a bunk bed or something like that. And you can get a couple of those beds and, and really start to give the whole idea of an entire room of beds. Oh, so while we're here, uh, we also have our catwalks right here, right? Also, because everything's on the same grid, it's at the same floor height. So you can mix and match these things as you want. One thing to watch out for, obviously, is that these are one, these are one inch. So you either have to put two next to each other or you have to end up starting to use one by two floors to kind of get it back to a solid two by two grid. But it's just very helpful to break up the design. Like I said, in this room, we've got our command console upside down. So it kind of gives to the other sides of these sculpts, giving it a different purpose. Maybe it's a bar, maybe it's a additional station where you 
you know, are monitoring the world that you're about to land on. Maybe it's also, this is all the med bay and you can even take in one of the beds and put it in here. Now it's a, now it's more of a med bay. You can even put this next to each other and, and like have it all kind of cohesive. Maybe the arm is a doctor, who knows. But the point is, is that the structure of the room is what we've been able to do and kind of make it all unified. The accessories to the room are really where it's gonna shine. As we move to the front side of this midsection, again, we've got just like an extra little room in here. We've got one of the consoles kind of just positioned in this. Uh, and then on the exterior side, we've got our ramps from the Catwalk Mega Pack. Uh, and while you could also use these things either as the back and uh, a sort of cargo bay door. We were kind of using them more as an exterior feature as uh, there's not a lot of elevation in this horizontal build. So uh, they come up a little bit less often, but you could also, putting it here, have an additional way to get up here, use those stairs somewhere else. Very easy. Now coming to the front of the ship, we've got these nice little areas, right? We've got our meeting room, a war room. It can be a place where people are just seated and, and going through hyperspace, you gotta buckle down or whatever. What's really cool about this one section, right, is now we're using this multi-module in place of a one-by-one -one, uh, wall, right? So because these go up to wall height, you can use it with any one-by-two or two-by-two two floor and just automatically get what you want from a one-by-one -one in the same metric. Now we don't have to make multiple pieces and you can do these kind of anywhere. And again, this room is pretty simple, right? This this isn't this isn't that difficult to to conceive. It's really going to kind of take some accessories for or just your own concept of what you want it to be. As we come to the front, we go ahead and get into the cockpit, right? We've got a couple of steps up leading into a little space right in front of your command console, or maybe it's a whole whole unit where people have to like sit down and get into an entire uh, I don't know cable scenario where they actually have to like pilot the ship or whatever. Uh, and then up on top, we've got this neat little thing where we've used one of our units again, one of our pole accessory units, with the small blaster, which is a pole accessory. And it kind of just ends up looking like a, a front facing exterior blaster for your ship because of the little overhang that every piece has. The diagonals work really perfect for this, where you can just kind of clip it right there. And it uh, kind of has a nice, uh, you know, it holds on to it pretty nicely. And lastly, we're just gonna go over some of these little exterior bits. I've used some of the accessories that you get in kind of surplus to, you know, just give a little character to the outside of the ship. Maybe this is a place where you can hook into it and latch yourself and your space to, to the exterior of the ship so you don't get lost to the void again. All right, so that I think covers this pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and show you an alt build where we're gonna do more of an actual facility building kind of moving through different rooms and using these catwalks in a different way. So let's go ahead and skip to that. All right, so what we've got here is the alt build for this bundle. As you can see, we're trying to go more for how do you build interior buildings, right? Like this is much more of like a manufacturing facility or some kind of oil rigging station or something. Uh, we've got the catwalks leading into the entryway here, right? So some other bridge that leads into it or, or what have you. As we kind of come into the door, we come out into these open rooms and we've used our accessories before. And so it's kind of in the same vein, but again, we've got our arm in the multi-module. It's got a pull accessory hole in there. We've also done this really neat thing, uh, trying to just conceptually give the motif of like, what if the pipes run on the outside and like into the accessory walls all around. We've even put our electric unit into our terminus here so it all attaches. One other thing that we can imply when we're doing builds like this with multiple rooms, multiple stages, is that we can imply a second floor with just the simple use of the stair meeting up at wall height. So now if you have either another core set or if you have another thing that you wanna build, you can just lead right up into it. And lastly, another thing that I just wanna point out again is using catwalks as floors. Everything's on all the same grids, so it's the same height as all the floors. So you can put them right down there and it's all flush. But the neat part is it gets a bit of negative space by cutting in, so you can have light underneath it and it'll push through those gaps and you'll get this nice little uh, light effect, or you can even have terrain trays or whatever kind of graphic you want. And the same is true when you use your trapdoors 
in that same vein, right? Like you can have the light shining through all of that as well as these cables, or you can have textures or, or terrain tray patches and, and it kind of gives a different kind of feel to the whole build. All right, so that's it for this bundle. Obviously, this is just a couple of variations that you can do with this kind of bundle. This is really well built for constructing multiple rooms at the same time or even like building a full unit of something. This is a really nice uh, amount of pieces and it can be really altered very easily by either adding exterior accessories. There's even a few stretch goal items that we're gonna be releasing can really help accentuate this kind of build. Uh, so I'm very excited to see how people respond to it and what people wanna to try to do with it. If you uh, wanna watch more of this kind of content, we have more videos on the YouTube channel as well as on the GameFound page per product listings and on the main page itself. You can also reach out to us at any time on Discord and through the GameFound comment section, or we also have our FAQs if you have any questions. So thank you so much for watching. This is Tyler, over and out.